Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Odd Reality. In this episode, we are going to discuss the genetically modified mosquitoes set to be released in California and Florida. Two billion genetically modified mosquitoes cleared for release in California and Florida. British biotech firm Oxitec announced this week that it has received approval from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for its genetically modified mosquitoes to be released in parts of Florida and in California following the completion of a pilot program last year. The modified male insects are designed to produce infertile offspring, ideally reducing local populations and rates of mosquito-borne illness. The male mosquitoes developed by Oxitec, codenamed species OX5034, are derived from Aedes aegypti, a notorious carrier of many diseases, including Zika, Dengue, and Yellow Fever. When these mosquitoes mate with the native females in an area, they're said to produce female larvae that simply die off before reaching adulthood, thus dooming the population as a whole. And because only female mosquitoes bite and suck blood from humans, the modified insects are thought to pose no danger to people. Last year, following approval from the EPA and local authorities, Oxitec launched a pilot program to release millions of these mosquitoes in select areas of Florida in collaboration with the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District. On Wednesday, Oxitec said that the EPA had issued an approval for the Florida program to continue as well as approval for a new program in California. The EPA's decision allows for more than 2 billion mosquitoes to be released across the two states. Oxitec's method is the latest example of what's known as the sterile insect technique, which has previously been used to eradicate or reduce populations of other harmful pests, such as screw flies. But the program hasn't come without controversy. Some residents in Florida have long protested the release of the mosquitoes, while some groups have maintained that they could pose unknown environmental or health risks. Others have argued that the EPA and local agencies haven't done enough to ensure the complete transparency of the project. A paper in September 2019 drew lots of attention for claiming to show that a small percentage of the offspring produced by Oxitex mosquitoes in Brazil had indeed survived and were spreading their genes to the rest of the population. But the paper was soon criticized by other scientists for a lack of compelling evidence supporting these claims and an expression of concern from the journal's editors laying out many of these alleged flaws Meanwhile, Oxitec's release data has shown that its programs do significantly reduce the local mosquito population, and Brazil formally approved the use of these mosquitoes in 2020. The EPA continues to state that the release of modified mosquitoes into communities is thought to pose no risk to people, animals, or the environment. Unrelated sterile mosquito programs elsewhere using bacteria, not genes, to render male mosquitoes less fertile have similarly shown success in reducing mosquito populations and rates of diseases like dengue. While the EPA has signed off on Oxitec's programs moving forward, the company will need additional permission from relevant local regulators, which isn't necessarily a given. Despite having received the EPA's go-ahead for a program in Texas to start in 2021, for instance, it ultimately didn't happen. So apparently this experiment has been going on since 2021 in the Florida Keys. That pilot program recently concluded and they just released the results of that program. Let's take a look at those findings. Biotech firm announces results from first U.S. trial of genetically modified mosquitoes. Researchers have completed the first open-air study of genetically engineered mosquitoes in the United States. 
The results, according to the biotechnology firm running the experiment, are positive, but larger tests are still needed to determine whether the insects can achieve the ultimate goal of suppressing a wild population of potentially virus-carrying mosquitoes. The experiment has been underway since April 2021 in the Florida Keys, a chain of tropical islands near the southern tip of Florida. Oxitec, which developed the insects, released nearly 5 million engineered Aedes aegypti mosquitoes over the course of seven months and has now almost completed monitoring of the release sites. Based in Abingdon, UK, the firm reported the first results from the experiment during a webinar on April 6, although it has not yet published the data. Wild A. aegypti mosquitoes can carry viruses such as chikungunya, dengue, Zika, and yellow fever, so scientists have sought ways to reduce their populations. Oxitex engineered males carry a gene that is lethal to female offspring. If all goes to plan, when released into the environment, the engineered males will mate with wild females and their female offspring will die before they can reproduce. Male offspring will carry the gene and pass it on to half of their progeny. As each generation mates, more females die and the A. aegypti population should dwindle. Oxitec researchers collected more than 22,000 eggs from the traps and took them back to their laboratory to hatch under observation. The firm reported that all females that inherited the lethal gene died before reaching adulthood. Furthermore, the team found that the lethal gene persisted in the wild population for two to three months, or about three generations of mosquito offspring, and then disappeared. No mosquitoes carrying the lethal gene were found beyond 400 meters of the release points, even after several generations. Oxitec monitors the sites for 10 weeks after the last lethal gene-carrying mosquito is found. The pilot study was not intended to determine how well the method suppresses the wild population. Oxitec plans to gather those data in an extension of the Florida Keys study. It needs approval from state regulators, but hopes to begin soon. The company plans to release mosquitoes at a second study site in Visalia, California, where it's building a research and development facility. So I did shorten that second article just a little bit for the sake of the video, but I will link both articles for you in the comment section down below. Of course, I have many thoughts on this particular topic, but first and foremost, I had no idea mosquitoes could be genetically modified, but I guess anything with genes can be modified. Next, how crazy is it that this certain species of mosquito basically can only produce female offspring that are doomed to die before they reach adulthood? And because only the females bite, when the females die, the mosquito problem essentially goes away. I'm bothered by that on a couple of different levels, but I think I'll save that conversation for a future show on Odyssey. The whole idea seems ingenious, but I have questions. And as the article suggested, some people have concerns. Some of those concerns being the genes from the male species of mosquito surviving and carrying on into the future. What are the future implications of that? And how do you know you've caught every single mosquito and that there are no more lethal mosquitoes out there? Lots of different questions, but their studies are promising according to what they've already found and according to experiments they've already run in other parts of the world. I don't know, but it doesn't sound like a good time to be in California or Florida. What do you guys think of science using nature to battle nature? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching episode six of Odd Reality.